We, we went over uh, kind of the small and large scale operations and kind of how they're implementing Soul Food Web to reduce costs, reduce water usage. Um, but when it comes to some smaller farms that are striving to be 100% organic, but are struggling with letting go with conventional practices, um, what advice do you give to those people that are, are kind of teetering at that point? They do have to commit to doing some, at least some of their fields. It doesn't have to be real large. Why not get practice on a quarter acre or a half acre uh, where you don't, you're not trying to do your whole farm. It's getting the, figuring it out, getting the microorganisms into a pile of compost where when you apply it out in your fields, it gives you that uh, um, rapid improvement that you're going to get all 11 of the overarching principles reestablished so you don't have to worry about watering in the middle of the dry summer period so you don't have insect pests you don't have weeds you don't have um, all of the problems there you're making your own um, organic material underneath your existing plants and so there's a constant source of um, material that you don't have to be worrying about. I'm going to have to go buy the straw. I'm going to have to buy the hay. I'm going to have to buy. Nope, make it all on your own property. So start um, small and expand from that point and let the results yep. be the, the confidence booster to implement 100%. Be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any new Soul Food Web or homesteading content.